The world has talked a lot about Hyperloop travel. Since the announcement of plans in this area in 2018, aim to get between Cleveland and Chicago in 28 minutes, or from Cleveland to Pittsburgh in 19 minutes. Recently, the Hyperloop Transportation Technologies Group, which is responsible for the project, presented a realistic demonstration of the system in one of its capsules. The interior on display is what the company built for the first Hyperloop system that will be used to transport people between Cleveland and Chicago. Vehicles up to 30 meters in length rely on magnets to fly in empty tubes and travel smoothly at speeds of up to 700 miles per hour. Also, the flight will be very quiet enough to allow passengers to drink a cup of coffee. The capsule is also large in size and incorporates unique artificial sunlight technology. In addition to an artificial skylight displaying the luminous sky, the occupant feels as if he is in an open space. Can be adjusted to match the night sky. The seats, which have speakers padded into the head cushion, provide a personalized experience. He also knows the identity of the passenger sitting in it and can know his name if he wants and it allows him to continue his favorite show on Netflix because it leaves him at home with vivid distortion on the tablet. Virgin Hyperloop envisions building systems that connect cities together. Future commercial Hyperloop systems will contain capsules that can accommodate between 25 and 30 people. He added that the company plans to carry tens of thousands of passengers per hour in the future. Hyperloop systems can operate either above ground or underground. But so far, the company has focused on above-ground projects, where digging underground tunnels can take a lot of time, as well as be costly. Virgin Hyperloop still needs to raise enough funds for its next venture. It's a 10-kilometer, $500 million test facility in West Virginia. He believes that the Hyperloop system will be adopted in 2025 or 2026 and that we will actually see Hyperloop projects before the end of the decade. The concept of Hyperloop will materialize in the event of a major revolution in the world of transportation. HTT officials anticipate the changes that will affect the four traditional modes of transportation. In the automotive world, Hyperloop will ease congestion on the highways that connect major cities together. The use of the Hyperloop as a means of transporting goods will also contribute to reducing the number of large trucks and car congestion on highways. As for aviation, with the increasing reliance on the Hyperloop to transport people and goods between cities, planes will be allocated for long flights and certain types of goods. It is possible to convert some of the scattered local airports into Hyperloop stations. As for the railways, many see it as just an obstacle. Hyperloop technology is very energy efficient. Hyperloop is a completely environmentally friendly means of transportation that contributes to the fight against climate change and the elimination of vehicles and aircraft that consume large amounts of fossil fuels. The Hyperloop will also be six times more energy efficient than air travel on short trips, and three times faster than the world's fastest train. The number of Hyperloops is expected to reach 2 billion by 2035. The high-speed rail technology market is expected to grow from $1.2 billion in 2021 to $6.6 .6 billion by 2026. The main factors driving the growth of this market are reduced travel time and transportation costs, in addition to lower carbon emissions. In your opinion, Will the Hyperloop 1 capsule succeed as the best means of transportation in the future? Is there any information we didn't mention? Write it down in the comments. Here we come to the end of the video. Don't forget to share the video and subscribe to the channel.